This orange fuzzball is possibly the most alien world we have in our solar system. Titan, the largest moon of Saturn. Bigger than Mercury, it looks nothing like our own planet from space. But up close, Titan appears strangely Earth-like. Titan's atmosphere is mostly nitrogen, kind of an eerie similarity. It makes us feel like Titan is our twin planet out there. In 2005, scientists landed the Huygens probe on the surface of the moon. The images it beamed back showed totally unexpected geographical features. The probe revealed a secret beneath Titan's thick orange atmosphere, something exceedingly rare in our solar system, a network of lakes right on Titan's surface. But what can stay liquid at 290 below zero? A sea of liquid methane. Methane takes the place of water here on Earth. This evaporates up and goes into Titan's atmosphere, rains out in other places, and then forms streams and rivers, which then flow into the lakes and start the cycle over again. This is Lake Powell in Utah. Steep cliffs surround a flooded valley. The landscape here mirrors the lakes and valleys on Titan. Ralph Lawrence developed space probes to explore Titan's lakes. This is such a good place to do our testing because the landscape here has a very branchy shape to the shoreline. That's the same as on Titan. Of all the worlds in the solar system, Titan is the one, apart from the Earth, that an unprotected human would survive the longest. You could hold your breath for a minute, and then after a while you'd freeze to death. But you'd last longer than anywhere else. Titan's methane seas could hold the key to life on this alien world. To find out more about them, we need the right technology. Today, Ralph tests a sonar probe. It's designed to scan Titan's seabed to build up a detailed map. Life as we know it requires liquid water. On Titan, it might be that the processes of life can occur in a non-water liquid in the, in the seas of methane. We want to understand the three-dimensional structure of the seas on Titan. We can do that with sonar, just like we do on Earth. So this is an oscilloscope to let us look at the signal. This bad boy, a real sonar transducer we would send to Titan. Ralph perfects the technology that will travel to Titan. His instruments must be extremely tough, small, and light to survive on board a space probe. The sonar sends out a, a pulse of sound. And from the time it takes for the echo to come back, we can determine how deep the sea is. Space scientists like Ralph are discovering that Titan's geology is very similar to Earth's, with one huge difference. The Huygens probe has discovered that what looks like a rocky landscape is completely made of ice. Deep inside it, scientists found the engine that creates Titan's features. Huge pockets of ammonia-rich liquid water are under enormous pressure. Like magma on Earth, this super cool fluid can break through cracks in the moon's surface crust and erupt in huge volcanoes, creating streams of icy lava. These ice volcanoes could have helped create Titan's mountains, valleys, and seas. Titan has an amazingly complicated landscape and we're just learning whether it was really made in the same way Earth's was. Ralph's next probe to Titan will carry weather sensors and a mass spectrometer that will analyze the chemistry of the methane seas. But his sonar device will have to operate autonomously as it scans the seabed. Well, that's working as well as predicted. The next step would be to integrate the sensor with a freely floating capsule and see how to build a profile uh, as we drift across the sea. 
Titan is similar to the Earth, but really different. You know, it's based on methane and it's very cold and the atmosphere is different. And yet we think that conditions could be okay there for life to arise. Of all the alien worlds that orbit our sun, Titan is one of the most complex and intriguing. And one day, it could become the most habitable place in our solar system. In five billion years, our sun will expand into a red giant, an incinerate Earth. But Titan will get less UV radiation from the dying sun. The dense, smoggy atmosphere will clear and allow sunlight through. The surface temperatures will rise and the ice will melt. The moon will become a primordial Earth for hundreds of millions of years. Plenty of time for life to emerge. Our solar system has revealed extraordinary worlds with hidden alien habitats. If these wonders exist so close to home, what mysteries might be orbiting our neighboring stars? I look up in the sky and, and no longer do I see points of light that are stars, I see solar systems. Pick a star, it more than likely has planets orbiting it. Could one of these distant alien worlds be just like Earth? Now that we have found alien worlds on our doorstep, scientists are pushing the search farther out into the galaxy looking for unseen worlds orbiting stars deep in the Milky Way. Five, four, three, In 2009, two engine start, zero. NASA launched the $600 million Kepler Space Telescope to speed up the search. And lift off. Before Kepler, we didn't know what fraction of stars had planets. Kepler has the biggest telescope mirror we've ever sent beyond Earth's orbit. Its mission? Hunt for planets that orbit distant stars. We didn't know whether there was enough debris uh, left from star formation that would accumulate into planets. So far, Kepler has discovered almost 1,000 planets. Now we know, statistically, Many, maybe even most, of the stars in our galaxy that you see when you look up at night are orbited by planets. 21 of the planets scientists found orbit their stars at the right distance to have a climate similar to Earth. Maybe oceans teeming with life. 